Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later in the video. Good morning and happy Monday. It's a rainy start to my Monday morning. I'm just now getting to the shop. I spent the first bit of my morning at the hardware store. I had to pick up some more pipes for a barbell order that I have. I also had to get a step stool because I've moved some printers around in the printer room and I'm excited to show you those in just a second. And I also had to grab some extension cords because I ran the printers over the weekend and I wasn't able to run anything on the top shelf. The poor Centauri Carbon did not get to run because I didn't have an extension cord to connect it down to the only outlet in that room, sadly. Uh, so we need to do a lot of things in there. But first, let's take care of some orders that I need to package and then we'll go get to the fun stuff in the printer room. I've got four nameplates that we need to package and I guess I need to grab my computer. man. Unfortunately, I made a mistake. So someone ordered two nameplates, navy and yellow, but they wanted this one to have a yellow background and navy letters. So I will have to reprint this one and I'll have to ship this order tomorrow, unfortunately. And I guess I'll probably just go ahead and send this one too, because there's nothing wrong with it. It's just technically not the colors that they asked for. So this lucky customer is gonna get a double Miss Char. But I guess actually they're not that lucky because their order will be a day later than it would have been. But my bad, it'll be all right though. All right, so that was all of the nameplates that I needed to package and ship out. Besides the one that I messed up and we'll have to send tomorrow, I have one more digital order that I need to work on when I get home. It's pretty cool. I've gotten quite a few more digital nameplate orders recently. So that means maybe more people are getting 3D printers in their homes, or maybe more orders are coming from YouTube. I'm not really sure, but I'm appreciative. So if it's one of you guys, thank you so much. And then I have one more nameplate order that I got this morning and I'll need to get that drawn and printed as well so that I can ship all of that out tomorrow. Okay, so I do have a rocket parts order that I need to get shipped out, but I don't have any in stock currently. So before we can do that, we need to prepare some inventory. I'll probably make 10, 15 of those and have them in stock and ready so that next time I get an order, I don't run into this same situation again. And I normally prepare inventory over there in that part of my shop but right now it is currently occupied with something i'll show you in a later video but for now it kind of just needs to stay hidden and out of your sight so we'll probably do all of the inventory packing here at this table and i'm sorry that it's the same camera angle the whole time but you'll be happy when you see what's over there but it's coming later grab everything i need for rocket parts If you are new here and you're not familiar with the water rocket launcher or these non-printed parts kits, I am in a partnership with Marmo Labs. They are the designer of the water rocket launcher and I handle their production and fulfillment. We have the kits that people can buy if they don't have a 3D printer. The files are available for free if you at home want to go and print a water rocket launcher. But to be able to launch the rocket, you need some non-printed parts. And so we have the non-printed parts kits available and that's what I'm creating right now. I'll make one more of these and then I'm gonna make some of the rubber band and string pieces. Those don't sell as often because those are pretty easily accessible for people. These parts are a little tougher to find. Okay, I'm gonna go throw these on the shelves and get the parts that I need for the rubber band and string. Get all this cleaned back up. I like to keep it all in this one big clear box. That way when I need to create more inventory, it's all right here, ready to go. And I know I've got all of the parts that I need. So I already pre-cut these cardboard pieces, but when I did it, I <laughs> made them slightly too large. So I just have to trim off a tiny bit for each one. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and lay out five rubber bands in bunches so that I can just grab them and throw them on there really fast. I'll probably make 10 of these. Okay, finally, we're on the last one of these, and then we will move on and I gotta make a barbell. Perfect, we're done with these. Actually, before I make the barbell, we need to ship this because that was the point of making these anyway. Okay, rocket parts are done. This is now packaged and ready to go out. The last thing we need to do order-wise and product-wise, I guess, is make a barbell. I do have an order that hopefully will go out tomorrow. I'm finished printing everything. I just need to build the barbell and let the glue dry overnight. And then tomorrow, hopefully, it'll be ready to ship. So we're gonna take care of that now. All right, time to make one quick pink barbell. And while I am making this barbell, let's take a moment and hear from the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace helps you build a website with very little experience needed. Thanks to their new AI-powered design intelligence, anyone can build a beautiful, personalized website. Squarespace also makes checkout seamless for your customers. They accept credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, and they also allow customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay. Squarespace also helps you sell your products with an online store. They allow you to sell physical items, digital content, and you can even sell services like design consults. Whatever you're selling, Squarespace can handle it. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash macymakes3d to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, let's get back to work. Got that done. Now I just need to let that dry overnight, and that will be ready to ship out tomorrow. And I think that is all of the orders that we needed to package or prepare or inventory or whatever. So next, let's go to the printer room. The printer room has changed since you guys have seen it last. So I may have moved the 85X in here, the Flash Forge printer, but I know you guys have not seen it since I put the Cobra S1 over here. And I don't think it's gonna stay there. I just can't get it up here by myself. And so it's the heaviest of the printers I have over here. That's why it's on the floor by itself, but I don't think it's gonna stay there. And then I moved the Centauri Carbon up here on the top. Since it's a single color printer, it doesn't have an AMS or anything on top that I would need to like climb and mess with. I also think I will eventually move the 85X up here as well, just because it's smaller and easier to get to. So that's the plan. So overnight or over the weekend, I guess, I've actually started printing for Halloween and it's only August, so it feels super, super early, but Every year my family does a really fun Halloween setup for the trick-or-treaters and last year I did a ton of these spiders. I'll show you. So on the 85X I was able to print three of the spiders pretty comfortably and Henry really wants one of these which is why I'm showing you this one first. And they're super floppy and fun. And so there's your pink spider. And so for the short term, at least, while I don't really have anything pressing that I need to use these printers for, I'm basically just gonna be cranking out as many spiders as I can get done. The single color printer, I'm for sure gonna be running these spiders, and I'm just gonna try and run through all of the run out filament rolls that I have, because last year we ran out of these spiders so fast. I wanna have enough so that every kid that comes by is able to get one. And I'll make sure that the creator of these spiders is linked in the description. It's off Maker World. They are incredible and the kids love them. So if you're not printing them, start printing them. They're awesome. I see one over. Oh no. In the S1, it looks like we had a bit of bed adhesion issues back here. Something popped loose. We'll take a look at that one in just a second. I went and grabbed a box, not just the little shelf boxes, cause I'm gonna have so many of these spiders, I need a box big enough to handle it all. You're gonna put that one in there too? You want one of the blue ones? Still plenty of filament in this one, so I'm just gonna hit go again. 
This was the bamboo mat. And they turned out great. Drop it in, drop it in. Okay, and let's see what happened here with the S1. So this one, you can see the bottom kind of didn't stick super well. Here, Hanny, go throw this one in the trash. Yeah, that one's broken. But the other three ended up being fine, so that's good. Losing one doesn't seem like that big of a deal. We'll keep running them and see if that improves or what, but I do think I want to get the gold plate. I did see in the comments of the S1 video that you guys did recommend changing out the plate, so that is going to be on my list of to-dos. Yeah, here, put those in the box. All right, time to rerun all the printers. And we need to get the Centauri running. I moved it up here on the shelf, but the power cord is not long enough to reach the extension cord or the outlet or the power strip, whatever it needs to plug into. So when I was at the hardware store this morning, I picked up some extension cords so that I can actually get that one running. So I'm gonna hit go on all of these that have already run. It'll just be an easy go to the cache rerun print. And then we'll plug in the Centauri and we should be good to go in here. Yep, more spiders are coming down. And another thing, I wasn't going to be able to reach anything up here on the top shelf, so I got myself a little ladder like I have at home. The print shop and the printer room is slowly coming together. That's there. Okay, I got the Centauri plugged in. Now all I need to do is get the computer and send more spiders to the printer, and then we'll be done in the printer room. That one. Okay, I finally got the files sent to the Centauri Carbon. And so now every printer here at the shop is now printing spiders, which is pretty cool. We are done in the printer room. It's too hot and too loud in here. So let's go back in here and finish up whatever we have left to do here at the shop. All right, the last thing I kind of want to take care of before heading home is this space over here. It's kind of just become a dumping ground for products and overflow different things for mystery boxes. So I kind of want to get it cleaned up a little bit. And I did add two more pretty good sized shelves over here. My father-in-law had some he was getting rid of and he said if I, he asked if I wanted them, yes, of course I want them. And so now I have lots of space to organize and get things a little bit cleaner in here. And I don't plan on doing a ton but I can get some of it cleaned up. And like this stuff here is just leftover boxes that I need to break down and recycle. There's a ton of cupcakes and eggs and inventory from the festival that I need to figure out what I want to do with, but I think that's going to be a good spot for either these shelves or just somewhere in here. Not really sure. I have four boxes of clicker switches because I was planning to do all of those cupcakes for the festival. So I just have a bunch of inventory of these now. And I still have three boxes of Flash Forge TPU 95A. So I need to find a fun project for that. If you guys have any fun TPU projects, let me know in the comments. I need something to do with this filament and I have no ideas. Most of the rest of this is things that need to go in these little shelf boxes. Those are good. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, I pretty much got everything cleaned up over here. There's still some barbell stuff. Henry has found somewhere to play, which is awesome. And I've got all of the cupcake containers over here and I've already moved the eggs over there but I think the space is cleaning up to be a bit nicer now which was the plan and I guess I'm just gonna start storing all of this extra inventory over here and just kind of create a wall separating my like shipping and main area from the bathroom and just a bit of storage space, which I think is gonna turn out pretty nice. But that is all we have time for here at the shop this morning. My plan for the afternoon is to get the nameplates running, 
get them printed so they can ship out tomorrow. I will probably start editing this video and then handle any computer work that needs to be taken care of as well. But I'd say we had a pretty productive morning here at the shop and hope you guys enjoyed following along. Thank you so much to my Patreon members. You guys are incredible and there's no way I could do any of this without you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.